Hi guys, my name is Gunnar Gemsgal and welcome to a Sims Free Play house tour. This house is the feature wall house. Now we have just had the back to the walls quest in Sims Free Play. It was a discovery quest that came out on the 1st of August and lasted for seven days. I just completed it. If you haven't seen my videos, I've been doing a video every single day on that quest. Once I'd completed the quest, I decided to build a house and make use of the feature wall aspect and oh my goodness I just love it so much hopefully we're gonna get it with floors as well I'm hoping but this is the house that I have built I'll show you zoomed out this is what it looks like it's just a one story it does have a basement as well but it's just a one story house and this is what it looks like from the front we should turn on these lights hey let's turn on these fairy lights to make it look pretty outside i have i absolutely love these decorations these like white pots with like the sticks in and I, they're about 35 sp i think i've been getting a ton of them from architect homes so i made use of them in the front of this house there's a nice little design at the front of the house which as we go in you'll see how that was kind of done from the inside with the rooms and things but let's take the roof off in fact no, let me just show you around the sides and the back there's a nice little feature here on this side that I will talk to you about when we get there here's the back just pretty simple there's no wall and a window sorry in that bit because that's where the bathroom is I was going to put one of the thin long windows at the top but it just didn't work because I've got the shower on that wall and stuff so it's fine it's it's fine like that and there's no room in the back to put anything <laughs> there was no room for any planters or anything or any any seat I probably could have put like some seating areas to be honest but I didn't and then we've got this side that is just the same as the other side. So let's go down. Let's take the roof off. And let's see. Let's put the walls. Let's have the walls like this. You can see that as you enter the house here. This is the layout of the rooms. In case you're wondering how I got how I got like that design. But two thin rooms. One by one by four, is it? Yeah, one by four. And then you've got the two by three there, which I really like. I like how it looks from the outside with the roof. But let's take those walls down like that. I love this new wall feature as well <laughs> that we have got. In fact, let's take them completely down so we can see. You enter into the house here, into this little, little area, which I love. Again, the design features that are coming out with Sims Free, Play, Sims Free Play at the moment, I'm just absolutely loving the whole interior windows thing love it because with this house I have put an interior window here maybe you can see it better with the walls up actually an interior window here that then looks through into there's a mezzanine area there and the stairs go down into the basement which I just think is fantastic such an awesome feature having these interior windows I think it's really really amazing so you can see off this little entrance way, we've got a door that way, or an archway I should say, archway both ways. It's pretty symmetrical in that way, like the middle bit is symmetrical. And then you can go through the archways on either side, it takes you into a little thin corridor that on both sides have a double archway into the main sort of the rooms there. There's the kitchen on this side and the lounge area on this side. But you can get through a single archway here through the little corridor into this space which as you saw is this is the other side when you come in through the door i just really like this space i like how the windows i put windows in here as well so you can see into the lounge area and into the kitchen dining area interior windows to me is the best feature <laughs> that's come the sims we play for a long time as well as the feature wall element in fact i haven't been showing you have i got yes i have got feature walls in these corridors you can see the outside wall is kind of this gray color and then the other walls are the white color and then in this area here we've got this feature wall here that's kind of i can't remember that, what color this is but i've got that as a feature wall there with some of the mirrors that we got from the chic boutique event and then the other walls you can see are just white I really like this little entranceway. I think it's one of my favourite entranceways that I've built for quite some time, to be honest. Let's go back. So if we go left here, in fact, no, we'll go right first and then we'll come back to left because left's where I've got a cool little thing over there. So over on this side is the lounge area and you can see we've got a feature wall. We've gone for, what colour is this actually? 
It's mint green. We've gone for the mint green, which doesn't actually look that mint green to me, to be honest. But I went for that because I used this chair and I kind of felt that it went quite well with there. So I've done this wall as the feature wall. And I love these as well. Love that we can close the blinds. I just think it's awesome. And in this little recess here, I've gone for the mint green as well. I do wish that, I mean, we wouldn't be able to place it anything even because we've got these windows, but just with normal windows, I wish that we could place something in here. We can't do it without glitching. You can't put anything in front of an archway. I don't know whether that will ever change, but I hope it does because it would be really nice if we could, I don't know, even just like put a plant in there or something. That would be nice, but we can't do that at the moment, so never mind. This is the little lounge area. Let's turn the light on. I did originally have a Scandinavian TV, which kind of looked better than this TV, but then when I placed the windows, I couldn't have the, the TV with these windows with the blind, and so I changed it around and got this telly, which to be honest, I really quite like. I really quite like that telly. These bookcases we got, they were in the online store apparently. I showed them off in the architect homes. At the moment you can still get an architect home that has these bookshelves. I had never seen them before. They're only one star bookshelves but oh my goodness I absolutely love them. I love how they kind of look in this room with the green and the blues. I like that look and I'll show you that there are, I think there are, yeah there are three, three and a two. Yeah there's a three and a two, it's two separate two separate ones there and then over on this side I've got a little cuckoo clock these orchids I think they were called I have no idea where they have come from I've never seen them before I will use another one over in the kitchen that I'll show you later but I was just but I was decorating I was just in my infantry and saw these and I was like wow there's like three different designs of them I don't know don't know where they've come from whatsoever they must have been an architect house or something but I really really like them so put one of those down and then from the lounge area, you can go through this double archway here into the study area. You can see again, I have used feature walls in this room, same mint green. I wanted to use a different colour, but then I placed this rug down. There's like this, I could, this rug and this painting, maybe don't really go together, but I don't know, I just placed them down and I was like, I quite like it. It's just like a little bit of fun office space. I don't know, that's what I went with. Anyway, so that's the little office area there, which leads into the bathroom. Oh, these doors, by the way, I absolutely love them. I did buy them in the online store. You got a few different colours, I'll just show you. A few, I think they were like $2.99. See here, we've got the white single, blue single, red single, grey, with the white around. There was those, and then there was double ones as well. I really do like them. I'm glad I bought them. Sometimes things are like, well, a lot of times, things like $9.99 in the online store. And occasionally there's something quite cheap and I'm like, hmm, yes, I quite like that. So I tend to tend to go for it. I don't like spending a lot of money in the online store, if I'm honest. Here is the downstairs bathroom. And I think I used a feature wall. Yeah, I've got two walls. So these two walls, what I love about the feature wall is that you can have it however. You can have one wall, two walls, three walls. You can completely sort of mix up how you do i think they may have just finished their fondue yes they have they finished their fondue evening let's just set them off i've set them back off on their fondue evening that they, they are having julia and david are the residents in this house they're having a little fondue evening over there in the kitchen yeah i love how you can have use like different wall patterns so you can you can you could have each wall a different wallpaper or you could use three wallpapers you can just do it however you want it's completely customizable which i really do like about it this like i say it's the bathroom pretty kind of standard simple bathroom there and then if we come back out let's follow the walkway around through this area and then into here which is the big kitchen dining area this is the other orchid plant that i was telling you about like a little rose gold I like that. If anybody knows where that's from, well, no idea. Really, really like it. This, yeah, this is the kitchen lounge area. This has got feature wall again. It's got the red on that wall and also in, oh, I've got that part on this wall as well. And this wall and in the recess there. Let's close some of these curtains up maybe. And we've got, this is a feature that I really like that I added to, I was doing, just downstairs is where the bedroom is. And we'll go there in a minute. And I was building the downstairs and I was like, 
it's a pretty, pretty like there's no windows there's no natural light in the downstairs area and I was thinking about what could I do to change that so what I've done I mean I know it doesn't really matter but what I've done which I really love this so if you were downstairs let's say you're downstairs in the bedroom you've got this skylight type of thing here I've put mezzanine floor just on these two edges and then you've got all the natural light coming in from these two windows and you've got windows from the kitchen going out I really like that I was like when I did it I was like, wow I love this like I would actually love this in my house to be honest <laughs> that's a really really cool idea I really like it and they've still got some kind of privacy because initially I'd put the bed down here on this wall I was like no you don't really want people to be able to look down into your bed maybe from the kitchen so yeah you've still got privacy I put the bed on the other wall over there which you're not going to be able to see from from in the kitchen so not that it matters I mean it really doesn't matter to the instance people but I just sometimes you know you think in real life would I want it like that I'm like no I wouldn't so let's how can we do that in sims free play but I really really like that design so you can see there if you're lying in bed or if you're in that room Got all this natural light coming down. Pretty cool, I thought. Anyway, back into the kitchen dining area. They're enjoying their fondue. <laughs> and we've got obviously the kitchen over this side with the feature wall there, and then the dining area. You can see that you've got obviously again the windows that look through. So you kind of you can sort of be all the way over here and you can look right through into the other room which is handy I suppose and then the last area we've got to get to the downstairs obviously you've come to out here through there down the steps let's go down we've just got this like little area here with I don't think any feature walls actually no it's not got any feature walls there and then into the bedroom which as you walk in you would walk into the bedroom here and that's where your, all your wardrobes are and everything. There's a little seating area there. And then you go round to the bed, which I kind of, I really liked it. It was, it was, the, the design was kind of forced up on me because of, like, because of the little skylight. Like I said, I'd put the door, the bed, sorry, over on this wall, but then I switched it up. I thought, well, I don't want it all the way over here because this is where they're going to enter, enter the room. So, but I really like how it's turned out. It's a little bit different. Something that I discovered actually when, when I was building this house, I didn't realise these fluffy rugs, the shag rugs, you can wait for partner. In fact, I don't think that they can go on it because it's um because it's got something over the top of it. I've never I've not actually tried what it is. Wait for let's wait for partner. Is she gonna come down? Oh he's coming down. Wait for partner. Sit with partner on the rug. Never knew that, that was a thing, only just discovered that whilst I was building this house like I say <laughs> but that obviously will go under the bed we'll just uh, we'll see I think they just I don't know they just sit there or did I know this I, I'm pretty if I did know this I'd completely forgot that I'd known this anyway whilst we're waiting for her to come down is she coming down yeah she's coming downstairs you go through from their bedroom they've got a little ensuite down here which is very nice they've got Let's put up the walls there. We've got the dual sink. I love these sinks, by the way. And the bath area, which is nice. I just brought the bath away from the wall and put these screens behind with some mirrors. And this is, I mean, I suppose it is a candle. It's a lantern in, isn't it? But I was looking at all the different candles and I put some of the others and I was like, no, they don't look right. Like the candelabra ones. And no, so I just put this down. I would like to get some candles. Let's see actually what they put the walls down. What did they just have? They just had something. Oh, this is really like romantic and cute. They need to be like in front of the fire. Or oh, what they get in? Drinks? Oh, they're having a little drink. I love how everything comes out of their pocket. They're like their back pocket. <laughs> That's really sweet. Okay, I'll have to put those shag rugs in front of a fireplace in my next build, I think. But there we go. That is the house I am really pleased with it feature walls are definitely amazing if you haven't already done that quest you can start it by going over to the park and clicking on summer it's a discovery quest not a main quest love it and I really hope that walls uh, not walls sorry floors are going to be the next thing where we can kind of draw the floors on like so it's not just the whole floor has to be one pattern does that make sense you know what I mean 
it'd be cool like if we could do like you could have like a, a ring around the outside of wood or something and then carpet like all the middle area or something i mean because we can do things i mean so glad that we are getting more rugs and things in the game but so we can do things with rugs but it would just be nice if we could do different things with flooring but anyway that's just me having a little talk about my wishes for the game let me know what you would like coming up in the game and also on these house builds would anybody be interested in like how to build of them i've never done sort of um build how to build of any of my house tours a few of you ask me in comments and i don't know whether that's something that generally people would like if it is let me know down below and i will definitely have a go at trying to do like build with me videos thank you so much for watching give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i will see you soon for another video bye